This presentation will provide an introduction to the COVID-19 Emergency Temporary Standard for Healthcare. Throughout this presentation, we will refer to the new standard as the COVID-19 ETS. This presentation will help you determine if the standard applies to your workplace. The standard is effective in North Carolina on July 21, 2021. Most provisions are effective on the initial effective date. Remaining provisions, to include physical barriers, ventilation, and training, are effective on August 5, 2021. To determine if the new standard applies to you, it is important to understand relevant key terms. COVID-19 or Coronavirus Disease 2019 is the respiratory disease caused by SARS-CoV-2, resulting in severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2. For clarity and ease of reference, this section refers to COVID-19 when describing exposures or potential exposures to SARS-CoV-2. Healthcare services mean services that are provided to individuals by professional healthcare practitioners for the purpose of promoting, maintaining, monitoring, or restoring health. Healthcare practitioners include doctors, nurses, emergency medical personnel and oral health professionals. Healthcare services are delivered through various means including, hospitalization, long-term care, ambulatory care, home health and hospice care, emergency medical response, and patient transport. For the purposes of this standard, healthcare services include autopsies. Healthcare support services mean services that facilitate the provision of healthcare services. Healthcare support services include patient intake, food services, equipment and facility maintenance, housekeeping services, healthcare laundry services, medical waste handling services, and medical equipment cleaning or reprocessing services. Ambulatory care means healthcare services performed on an outpatient basis, without admission to a hospital or other facility. It is provided in settings such as a physician's office and other healthcare professionals' offices, hospital outpatient departments, ambulatory surgical centers, specialty clinics or centers and urgent care clinics. It is important to note that ambulatory care does not include home healthcare settings. Screen means asking questions to determine whether a person is COVID-19 positive or has symptoms of COVID-19. Fully vaccinated means two weeks or more following the final dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. While the ETS does not provide a definition of a well-defined hospital ambulatory care setting, the preamble does provide the following example. An infusion center that is based in a hospital setting, which has a separate entrance. Another example of a well-defined area could be an outpatient medical office connected to a hospital. In the next several slides we will provide information that will help you determine if the standard applies to you. The healthcare ETS applies to healthcare worksites or settings where any employee provides healthcare services. For example, hospitals, nursing homes, long-term care facilities, autopsy settings in funeral homes, mortuaries and morgues and, to healthcare support services. For example food services, equipment, facility maintenance, housekeeping, healthcare laundry, medical waste handling services, patient intake or admissions and medical equipment cleaning services. The COVID-19 healthcare ETS does not apply to provision of first aid by an employee who is not a licensed healthcare provider and dispensing of prescriptions by pharmacists in retail settings. It is important to note that, while the dispensing of prescriptions by a pharmacist is exempt from the ETS, other healthcare services that may be provided by a pharmacist such as providing vaccinations and COVID-19 testing, is not exempt. The ETS does not apply to non-hospital ambulatory care settings, where all non-employees are screened prior to entry, and people with suspected or confirmed COVID-19 are not permitted to enter. For example, Physician offices, physical therapist offices, and other healthcare settings such as hospital outpatient departments, ambulatory surgical care centers, and specialty clinics. The COVID-19 healthcare ETS does not apply to well-defined hospital ambulatory care settings where all employees are fully vaccinated, and all non-employees are screened prior to entry and people with suspected or confirmed COVID-19 are not permitted to enter. For example, 
an infusion center that is based in a hospital setting which has a separate entrance. The ETS does not apply to home healthcare settings where all employees are fully vaccinated, and non-employees are screened prior to entry and people with suspected or confirmed COVID-19 are not present. Healthcare support services not performed in a healthcare setting. For example support services such as off-site laundry and off-site medical billing. And, telehealth services performed outside of direct patient care settings. For example services such as an office suite where no patients are seen or services conducted from a remote location such as the employee's home. The ETS also has some limited applicability requirements which will be addressed next. Where a healthcare setting is embedded within a non-healthcare setting, the ETS applies only to the embedded healthcare setting and not to the remainder of the physical location. Where emergency responders or other licensed healthcare providers enter a non-healthcare setting to provide healthcare services, the ETS applies only to the provision of the healthcare services by that employee. Let's look at some examples of these limited applicability requirements for the ETS. Example using a pharmacy embedded in a general merchandise store. 1910-502 applies to the pharmacist or staff performing medical processes or procedures. 1910-502 does not apply to dispensing of prescriptions or to the general merchandise part of the store. Example using a clinic in a manufacturing facility. 1910-502 applies to the nurse's duties whether in the clinic or out on the plant floor. 1910-502 does not apply to other employees in the manufacturing facility when the nurse is providing health care on the plant floor. In well-defined areas where there is no reasonable expectation that any person with suspected or confirmed COVID-19 will be present, the ETS paragraphs on PPE, physical distancing, and physical barriers do not apply to employees who are fully vaccinated. For example in meeting rooms, break rooms and areas where patients are not seen. To help employers determine if the new standard applies to their workplace, OSHA created the COVID-19 healthcare ETS flowchart. You can download a copy from www.osha.gov. Thank you for viewing this presentation. If you have questions, Please contact our standards section at 919-707-7876 or email us at askosh at labor.nc.gov.